Gee Willikers, Roman. Malin sure gave us a lot of homework. Dude, I know, but come on. YOLO. I wish there was a way we could do, like, some sort of cosmic U-turn to know what Baghdad was like back in the day. I sure, I sure wonder what Baghdad was like in the post-classical era. Nope, not that one. Nope, farther than that. Uh, <laughs> here we are. Gnarly bro, where am I at right now? Welcome to Baghdad, located on the Tigris River. Uh, broski, what year are we in right now? 1258, bro. Alright, hold up. I just totes did a cosmic U-turn in time. Hashtag time swag. Maybe I should go hit up the live. Yo, man, you want to show me where the library is? Follow me! Alright. Yo, dog, what's up with those cone things you got going on over there? Those are actually our mosques. They are religious places of worship. They are very honorable. And the tallest tower points to Mecca. Yo, hold up. Is that top dome made of gold? Why, yes it is. Yo, man, that's pretty dope. Hashtag bling bling. <laughs> Alright, so can you like HMU the short overview of the city? Baghdad was found by Caleb Al Mansur in 762 on July 30th to be the capital of the Abbasid Empire. He chose this spot because of its mild climate and great location for trade. So like how many peeps got up in here? Around 2 million people live in this city. Most are comprised of Arabs and Persians. So, uh, do you guys believe in Jesus or, uh, you guys Islams? Urgh. The correct term is Muslims, and yes we are. We do believe in Jesus. However, we do not believe he was a messiah. <laughs> so, how are the ladies around these parts? Well, we don't give much eye candy because her husbands covered them. But the noses are pretty nice. I have some poems if you want to hear about them. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. I'm looking for some ladies who want to, you know, blow out my candle in their wigwam. Lol, JK, that's North America. Okay. So, uh, how about we go to the palace, you know, see the caliph? Of course, we always introduce possibly dangerous strangers to the caliph. Follow me. Whoop! What's up? Howdy there, partner. You can call me Dirk a Dirk Muhammad Ali. As the Caliph, I'm basically the ruler of this city. Also, this city is pretty ballin'. I mean, like, we're the smack we're in the smack center of the Silk Road. It's giving us direct connection to trade. We basically invented math, and we got some nice threads. Some nice astrology. Oh. I can't forget the doctors we have too. Yeah, we're basically stacked. So, why is this city so long? We Abbasids are chill. We take influence of Persian art, Greek philosophy, Indian medicine, and Chinese technology. The cliffs are open and have a centralized government up in here. We have specialized government workers like the ulama, who are the religious bureaucrats, and Khadiz, who are the judges. And we let the information flow in and out of Baghdad by having complex communication networks. So, uh, can you hit me up the number one ruler up in here? That, my friend, would be Harun al-Rashid. Harun was the main man who moved from 786 to 809 CE. Harun was a liberal who allowed artists and writers to be free. Harun sent a dope elephant to Charlemagne so they could start trading. Baghdad became the center of banking, commerce, crafts, and industry during his reign. Harun made it rain with gold, baby. Don't trust me? Listen to my good friend, Benny. Hashtag Whoop! Shalom. I'm Rabbi Benjamin of Tudela, Spain. The Caliph has a huge place that is decked out and has a huge garden. In fact, the city of Baghdad has gardens all over the place. The Caliph's place is made out of marble. It has columns of silver and gold. There are also public hospitals that provide medicine for the sick. The Dar al Maristan is a building which houses the mentally insane and is very hospitable. The Caliph provides and takes care of the poor 
I wish I could move there rather than live in Spain where the air is so dry. We got new agricultural technology that expanded on irrigation methods and crop rotation. We even wrote that shiz down. We also produced loads of paper ever since we took in some of those Chinese paper makers that are in battle. How do you guys uh, treat y'all woman? Well, men are the bosses, yo. You know. And we good to our wives, though. Listen up to one of my four. What's cracking? My name is Mohammeda. Yeah, I have to wear a veil, but my hubby told me that it will protect me from pervs. Also, I can only have one husband, while men can have four wives. What up with that? So, uh, y'all got any uh, rights up here? Up in here? <laughs> the Quran gives me lots of love. Muhammad has a history of loving and respecting his wives. Allah sees me as an equal and as an individual, not property to men. I'm allowed to inherit property and gain a business and divorce my hubby on my own initiative. So what's up with uh, infanticide, yo? That's illegal, yo. Yo, man, that's so dope. Man, this city is so great. It's got the gold, it's got the trade, it's got the medicine. I can't see what could possibly go wrong. Mongo! No, no. <laughs>